Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Village. Hey Alpha, look at this. The SAA, they've gone too far. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Usually, the phrase, they've gone too far. Make contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's nothing we do. Watch out. Usually that phrase is used idiomatically to mean like they've crossed some kind of moral line. You've gone too far with whatever you've done. Did they literally mean that the BSAA went too far into the village? Because even the tone that Chris said that with was a little... <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> oh... God, I love Resident Evil line reading. I'm so glad that it's still kind of funky. That that's just baked into the DNA of Resident Evil. God, it's so good. Uh, so we're Chris now because Miranda ripped Ethan's still beating heart out from his chest and then crushed it on top of that. Which, if anything... Get oh, oh, I see. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. I'm still not exactly sure what kind of shady shit the BSAA is doing. Oh! Oh, that's... Wait. Hold on. Now it's dead. After how many maulings I've taken on behalf of Varkalax, this is pretty satisfying. I'm still not sure exactly how this is the BSAA's fault. Did they force Miranda's hand hey, so she started the ceremony Our early? Preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here, leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. So I was saying that, uh, watching Miranda crush Ethan's still beating heart in front of him and drink all the viscera and blood it only it only makes me a thousand percent more confident that Ethan is alive <laughs> um I, I think the game developers doth protest too much that he's definitely a hundred percent dead it makes me suspicious is all I'm saying I've watched Ethan do some pretty gnarly things with Sprite before I think that's kind of the point of why we've seen him take so much damage and keep going. Ethan is that boy who takes a licking and keeps on ticking. I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the point. I mean, honestly, I think at this point I could be looking at his casket being lowered into the grave at this point and be looking at his tombstone, and I'm still gonna put my money on Ethan being alive. Oh, who's shooting at me? Oh, there's an art, um... What do you call Archers, but for crossbows. Huh, cross... It can't just be crossbowman or crossbow person. That sucks. So 
so, so far, this is about what I expected out of a Chris sequence, which is just a lot of shooting. Uh, but it feels pretty all right. It's just there's no tension. There's zero tension. Which you still need tension to make action feel meaningful and intense and impactful. Otherwise, it gets kind of boring, which this is. Uh, so what I'm hoping is that this either ramps up a whole lot or ends quickly. Because so far, I've been really vibing with the game. <laughs> Oh, you're still you're still going. I really uh, have an itch to to use that phrase today. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. I don't know where it's come from, but it is here, and it's everybody's problem now. If Chris had maybe a suplex or even his dopey punch or if there were systems here but i think what we're what we're actually seeing is that when you take away the resource management uh aspect of the game and just create shooting galleries uh it's not very fun I guess the one behind me is dead. I've reached the target location. Oh, sick. Yeah, All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. Takes a minute to target the point. Try and keep the laser on it as long as you can. Bingo. All right. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Reloading now. Just a minute. This is smooth. Hit it that way. Oh, okay. Okay. This might actually get this might actually get kind of fun. Oh hell yeah. Okay, so Chris is a tank, but he's not completely invincible. Okay, Captain. I reloaded. Ready when you are. Okay, I just have to I'm gonna need a couple of seconds of breathing room, so. Uh-oh. Okay, this is actually getting pretty interesting. Oh, wait, I don't think they have crossbows anyway. Those are just bows and arrows. Is the target locator working? Everyone okay? They're coming from the moon. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't interrupt that. Aw. Okay, yeah, I have to have a really clear shot for a considerable amount of time. So are they just infinite spawns, or do I have to clear the whole... Oh, yeah, it looks like I just had to clear a wave. A really, a really big wave. Five more from the mountains. The nearby. I'll handle it. It's about to collapse. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. It's them. Watch your perimeter, Chris. The only thing is, I don't... I feel like death might be a, a slight concern here, but there's no way that I'm running out of ammo. At all. There's no plausible chance of that happening at this point. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, here's... Oh, come on, let me get past y'all. I've given myself a phone booth to fight inside of. Good lord. Okay, this is what I need to be doing more of. Yo, Lobo, I'm dying over here. The wolves are literally at Old Gil's door.
Also, don't think I haven't noticed that your name's Lobo. Are you gonna be a werewolf too? Oh my god, the whole thing is Hound Wolf Squad. Chris is gonna become a werewolf! Oh! Come on! Come on, werewolf Chris! Come on, werewolf Chris! Become the boulder punching lichen. Mark a point with the target. Oh no. I would like all of you to go away. Uh, I can dodge these. I can strafe these. This is fine. <laughs> Take that. Good. Mega must be. Whoa. Cool. Okay, the payoff of that sequence is pretty good. I had fun with that. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold in the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Oh, this is the source of the mold that was found in Louisiana. Oh, it's another, uh... This is a really cool tentacle clad Yuriesh with a, um, a morning star. <laughs> Yeah, Chris can just tank that. It's fine. Come on, let me hammer him on the werewolf. That reminds me. I still want to get back to playing Gears 5. I have an affection for the Gears 4 series that I actually don't get to talk about all that often. I should maybe let's play one of those one of these days. Okay, so I need to dodge one of his combos or wait it out. Oh, hello. And then this should be a good opening. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he's just taunting. It's fine. That thing tanked. The Hammer of Dawn. <laughs> Luckily, he's uncoordinated as hell. Uh, and I can make use of these flashbangs while waiting for the reload. Okay, that gives me three left. And I should probably make use uh, of as many of them as possible because, because I probably won't get them back for Ethan's section. Should be reloaded just about there we go also I had way more than I thought oh I like his helmet I didn't notice that before prepping the next round holy shit Oh, cool. I'll keep going. The rest of you stay above ground. So how did the Mutamycete find its way 
to so Louisiana. Where fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Whoa. Whoa, that's kind of cool. I found it. It's the Mega My Seed. Alpha the squad. I've located the Mega My Seed. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. Oh, wow. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe it was the BSAA forcing her to initiate her plan sooner than they had anticipated. This must be Miranda's lab. Ooh. I'm really surprised we didn't switch back to Ethan. Oh, the the uh, the crests of all of the different families. Uh, Salvatore, Salvatore Moreau, Cadeau, Affinity, Low, Brain Function, Surprise... Oh, come on, that's mean. The Cadeau has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with a regular cell division causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control the transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for... Oh, right! Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god! The grave! The grave from earlier! I... Oh my god! Eva! Evelyn! Evelyn's, uh... Evelyn's Miranda's lost daughter. Holy shit. Uh, regeneration rate incredibly fast, can heal external wounds, increased body size. Due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh. Oh, yeah, okay. Scientific vampire. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Yeah, we have our science vampires. Cool. <laughs> this must be Heisenberg, because it's the horse. Of course, Carl Heisenberg, noted horse boy. Godot affinity, incredibly favorable. Brain functions, normal. Has electric organs, similar to the electric ray, a uh, narke japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electri electricity throughout entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen. Still an unfit vessel for Eva. Really? I don't know. If I wait, if I woke up in a body and I realized that I had a shot at being Magneto and instead I'm like anyone else. <laughs> Donna Beneviento. Normal, although severe mental illness. Again, kind of mean. Uh... Controls, plant infected, the Munamycete. Oh, controls, plants infected by the Munamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she's mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadeau among her dolls. So she is an unfit subject as well. Eh. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Seem to be immune to bullets. Dear Miranda, 
My deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I'm incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor, half-dead medical student in the snow. Who is this from? I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. Wait. Wait? <laughs> What? I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I found the key to evolution. The progenitor of virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. Oh, I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that, I will forever be in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell Spencer. E. Spencer. He... No way. Huh. Oh, holy shit. That is an interesting little revelation. Kind of feels a little bit fan y but I, I don't know, I think I'm into it. I'm still kind of, of noodling over, uh, Evelyn, oh man, Evelyn being Miranda's kid. My Eva, it's been a hundred years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megamycete. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamycete regulator. The giant's chalice, sure, whatever, all that is left to merge her uh, with the Megamycete. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found it. The Megamycete. Completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just need the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamycete. That way I can control them, experiment on them. I've experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the, eff the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kado. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. This, it, it's just strange to gloss over. Oh yeah, I just made Cadeau, whatever. <laughs> I was <laughs> once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva... I have waited too long to see you again. It's a really cool way to connect this back to this, the plot of Red is, Resident Evil 7. Show 
Show me your hands. <gasps> Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything! And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... He's gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. There it is. Commence the resurrection. What's going on? <laughs> Someone's there? there? Uh, it's cold. How did I get here? God, it's freezing. <laughs> Save Rose. Wrong. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. Excuse me? What are you saying? I can still. <sighs> See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt, remember. How long has Ethan been dead? Or undead? Since then? Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. You died there. Three years ago. Th that's, that's impossible. No way. You <laughs> shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! What, what am I? 
Wait. Oh, the Duke! At last, yeah! he wakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Sorry, I didn't mean to be that loud. <laughs> Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah, I have to be. I gotta go. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time in the finale of Resident Evil Village. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.